One morning, the engines on the Scarlowy Railway were getting ready for a long day ahead of them. I pity the engine that's going out in today's heat, embellished Sir Handel. Well, all you will be working out in the sun, I'll be relaxing in this nice, cool shed. Actually, said Handel, said Rusty, you're taking the passenger trains today. Peter Sam giggled. Sir Handel tried to object, but when his crew came along to start him up, he had no choice and harumphed out of the yard. He sizzled angrily in the station when Gordon arrived at his express. Good morning, said Gordon. What's good about it, complained Sir Handel. I have to go out in this sweltering heat when I could be home in my nice cool shed. The others don't seem to care at all. You are the fastest engine on the line, Gordon tried to say. But, but nothing, interrupted Sir Handel, and he flounced away. Gordon expected this to happen and said nothing else. Sir Handel continued to have a bad day. Whenever he stopped at stations, he would complain about the heat. When he reached a water tower, he demanded to fill up to cool himself down. His tanks were still full of water, so they couldn't give him any more. When they made it to the station by the lake, Sir Handel refused to move any more. It's too hot! My wheels will melt! Your wheels won't be the only thing melted if you don't get moving, snapped his driver. Stop complaining and let's get going. Sir Handel smartly opted to keep quiet, but he thought of a plan on how to get back at everyone. The return journey was much quieter. Sir Handel didn't say much and his driver suspected nothing. Presently, they reached an empty field. Now for my plan, Sir Handel thought. He wanted to pretend to run out of water and strand himself in the middle of the railway. But unbeknownst to him and his crew, the hot sun had kinked the rails. The track here was partially covered by grass, so Sir Handel couldn't see it. Sir Handel never saw it coming. One moment, his wheels were on the rails, the next, they were in the grass. The passengers stormed out of the coaches. You silly engine, they said. Now we can't get home. Now Sir Handel felt sorry for them and for all his complaining. Rusty soon arrived to re-rail Sir Handel and temporarily fix the track. Rusty then took him and the passengers home. They got back very late indeed. You are a very naughty engine, Sir Handel, scolded the manager. You are going to stay in this shed until I see you fit to come out again. But sir, he whimpered, what about the passengers? Well, I think someone remembers what happened the last time you derailed, the manager said with a wink and a nod. Scarlowy laughed as he pulled out of the sheds and headed to collect Sir Handel's train. As usual, Scarlowy handled the passengers with no problem. The passengers were always glad to see their friend. Sir Handel, meanwhile, was stuck in the shed for a few weeks while the workmen looked him over. He finally came out of the sheds again, a wiser engine.